Hello guys, uh, this is another Mo Willems book. Now the first Mo Willems book I ever read was There's a Bird on Your Head, Piggy and Elephant book. This was the second one, and actually I had to read this in front of other adults that wanted to become teachers. And they said, pick a read aloud book to do and read this book in front of these adults. And so I read this book in front of adults. Uh, and now here I am, uh, 12 years later, reading it online. So I hope you enjoy it. Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed by Mo Willems. No shirt, no shoes. Yes, service. Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed. There is so much to learn about the fascinating little creatures known as naked mole rats. But for this story, you only need to know three things. Number one, they are a little bit rat. Number two, they are a little bit mole. And number three... They are all naked. Look, look, look. Well, they were, with only one exception. Wilbur, the naked mole rat who liked to get dressed. Oh, Will, hello. When the other naked mole rats saw him, they said, Ew, yuck, what are you doing? Um, I like clothes. When I get dressed, I can be fancy or funny or cool, or I can just be an astronaut. When the others heard that, they said, Ugh, yuck. If you like clothes so much, then why don't you open a store or something? Naked mole rats can be very sarcastic, so he doesn't really mean that. But Wilbur thought, oh, that was a great idea. Let's open a clothes store. The other naked mole rats did not like that. They brought Wilbur to great for to a giant portrait of Grandpa, the oldest, greatest, the most naked, naked mole rat ever. Look at that picture, they demanded. Look at his heroic face. Look at his regal bearing. Look at his total lack of clothing. Grandpa did look heroic. Grandpa did look regal. But he would also look heroic and regal in a casual shirt and some uh, summer slacks. Ugh, said the other naked mole rats. Don't you get it? Naked mole rats don't wear clothes. Why not? Asked Wilbur. Ugh, something had to be done. The naked mole rats marched right over to Grandpa and told him all about Wil Wilbur. And then, and then he asked, why not? Mm. Grandpa was very wise. He thought, very, thought seriously about everything he had heard. Then mm. he thought some more. Mm. Finally, he said in a heroic, regal voice, Gather the colony. I shall make a proclamation. A proclamation, 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 proclamation. When Wilbur heard about Grandpa's proclamation, uh-oh, he knew it was serious. Hmm, but he had no idea what to wear. Which one would you do? Which one would you pick? In the end, Wilbur decided to play it safe. Just some socks. Uh, but uh, maybe not safe enough. Look at him. He really stands out with those socks. The others were so busy looking at Wilbur's socks that no one even noticed Grandpa enter until he cleared his throat and proclaimed, oh, Fellow naked mole rats, I had never worn clothes until I heard Wilbur's simple question. Why not? Why not indeed? Do clothes hurt anyone? No. Are they fun? Well... They may not be for everyone, but this old naked mole rat wishes he had tried getting dressed earlier. Then Grandpa com complimented Wilbur on his socks. Nice socks, Wilbur. As fast as he could, as, as fast as his legs could take him, Wilbur rushed home, put on his favorite outfit, and dashed back. When he returned, Wilbur discovered he was not alone. Much has been said about that day. But for this story, you only need to know three things. Some of the mole rats were naked. Number two, some of the mole rats were clothed. Number three, all 
of the mole rats had a great time. No exceptions. Close up. Who do we got here? Who do we got here? Somebody famous. The end. Why not? That's a question you can ask yourself. Do you always have to fit in with everybody? If everybody was naked, would you be naked? Or would you put on some socks? All right. See ya.